Hi, welcome to the ASP.NET web form and Entity Framework Learning by Example Project. Today in this video, I would like to show you how to implement the feature for breadcrumb in our website. Okay, so what is breadcrumb and how to do it? Okay, so basically in the website, you have to have a navigation for the bread. We call it breadcrumb. For the breadcrumb, it will let the user know where they are now and how to back into the previous page. And in this video today, I will guide you how to do it. Okay, so for example, you are home page now, and when you click on the view detail of this product, yeah. So for now, it you are at the product detail page, and I want to back to the product page, and then back to the home page. It it will be easier for me when we have a breadcrumb here. I just go ahead to clicking on the hyperlink on the breadcrumb and. Also, it makes the user uh, user experience is good, and when the user go to the website, visit the website, so it will be easier for the for them to to use website. Okay. So now I will open the Visual Studio to work on it. And in this video today, I will use the sitemap. There is a default control supported by the uh, ASP.NET web form. I will create a new sitemap now. Open Visual Studio and you clicking on the um, website project and select Add New Item General Sitemap. I will have it by default with web dot sitemap found here. Click on Add button. Okay, so now you have to provide the uh, path. And also the title, the description for some pages in the system. Okay, the first one it should be the home page. I will do it now. Follow this video. Okay. Home page it should be default. URL default. Okay. So now I will open the sitemap. It will, it will contain all of the navigation for this website here. I will go ahead to copy it into this. Okay, I will wait on that to to create the sitemap for me for, for this website. Default here it should be the home page home next option is home page the next one is okay I will remove this user user page manage manage user Category. Okay, I will copy. Category.
Okay, cool. So now for product, we have the product detail. Okay. So I will remove this. The copy something like this. New detail and product detail. New detail. New detail. Product detail. Okay, so so now we have just done create the sitemap file for our website. And okay, so basically when you adding any new page into the project, so you have to update this file manually. Okay, please keep it, please keep in mind. Save it, and I go ahead to create a user control. I will let me the bread come. Okay. I will have the sitemap data source it in the data sitemap data source and the second one is the Sitemap path in the navigation. Okay. After that, I will build this. Okay, I will open the site dot matter page file here. Before we display the deep main, so we should have here. Use the control is the right cam. I will have a div here, div. I name it the breadcrumb collage. Okay. Build the project. And I will back to the web browser, refresh this one. Click on the another page. Yeah, you can see here after we go to, after click on the manage user here, it will display the breadcrumb home and the current page manage user. You can back to the home by clicking on the home hyperlink here. Cool. And do the same thing with the detail of this product here. So now you can see we are at the product detail page and go to the product list. We click on this one and back to home to this one. Okay. So now here. Okay. This should be inside the deep matter. Refat. Yeah. So now the layout look good. Many product 
berorak. Okay, good. So now we should write some the style sheet for this div. Okay, I will open. Welcome in the style sheet file in the content style sheet dot cs file. Paste it at the end. Okay, here. Padding button is ten pixel. Okay. Refresh. Yes, it look good for now. You can change the style sheet for this one by select the breadcrumb, open the design mode, <coughs> auto format, colorful, simple, professional. Okay, try to use this one, and I will refresh, clear the cut, Control F5 at the same time. Yeah. You can see now it look um I think not good for, for this website with this style. How many many product product detail? Okay. So you can see here we are display the product detail page. Actually, we should display the name of the product we are viewing. For example, instead of display the product detail here, we should display the Dell HPS here, blah blah here. However, this one is the limitation of the site map we are using. So now let you let you edit it there. And if you want to view this one, the name here instead of the default label, so you have to do the custom. Or, on, or have to write another another code for this breadcrumb. Okay. So now, however, in this video, I will use the default now. Many product view detail. Okay. So we should add something for the many many page here. Okay, we will detail. I uh, know because we detail. We are using the same pet. No need to add. Okay, save this. Close it. Okay, so now if you want to add new pieces here, you have to add it manually into this page to make it the effect on the website okay so i think that's all for today and after you finish this video you know how to implement the breadcrumb by using the sitemap there is a default control of the asp.net web form i hope this video will helpful for you and do let me know if you see any issue bye bye and talk to you later